Hi everyone! In this video, we'll learn how to import null objects and their motion data from an FBX file. A null object can be thought of as a placeholder, containing the key frames for the position, rotation, and scaling of an animated object. Once imported into Terrigen, the motion data can be applied to other items in your project. The FBX file generated from our 3D previs scene also contains a number of null objects with the motion data for the three aircraft. Let's import them into the project as well. From the File menu, select Import FBX Scene. Terrigen wants to know what datasets to import from the FBX file. In our previous video, we already imported the camera, and we don't need the lights, so let's uncheck those items. It's also important to consider the scale factor of the incoming data because Terrigen calculates atmosphere and distances based on the premise that one unit equals one meter, and not all 3D software defaults to this ratio. Some FBX exporters have a confusing set of options, and it's common to find that the exported units are not what you expect them to be. If you need to scale the data, you can change the scale factor here. The most common values are 10, 1, and 0 0.1. Select the Choose File button, then navigate to the location of your FBX files. Select the file and choose Open. Since the Import Animation option was checked on the previous dialog window, we're given an opportunity to choose among a list of animation groupings or stacks to import. This FBX file only contains one stack, and it's selected, so we don't need to do anything. Finally, we have the option to change the project start and end frames to match those of the imported FBX file, which we've already done, so we can uncheck that option. Press OK. To see the items imported from the FBX file, click on the Objects button on the toolbar. In the Object Node list, there are three null objects that were imported from the FBX file. These null objects contain animated data on their position, rotation, and scale motion channels, as shown here in the Animation panel. But before we can apply this motion data to something useful, we'll need to import a 3D object into our project, which is the topic of our next video. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thanks for watching.